Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. So on today's video, I want to show y'all what I buy at the grocery store as a family that grows about 80 to 90% of our own food. So y'all come on with me. Alright guys, so I'm going to first start off by telling y'all that I usually spend around $100 every two weeks at the grocery store. In today's time, that ain't much. I know um, some people I've talked to that do solely rely on the grocery store spending three, dollars $400 a week on groceries. So, I mean, that's a lot of money, guys. So, I feel like our gardening and raising our animals... Whether when you really sit down and add it up, it's saving us money or not, I feel like it is, um, and saving our health as well. So, you may be surprised by some of the stuff I show you here. We are not perfect. We are not purists by any means. Y'all, there's still some stuff we indulge in because it is here for us to indulge in. So, when I go to the grocery store, it's mainly junk food. I'm not going to lie. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I've got over here is quick oats. The kids and Andy and myself, we all love what we call peanut butter delights. Uh, I think some people call them like no-bake cookies or something. I always know them as peanut butter delights. This is what we use for that. We don't really eat oatmeal, but that's why I buy those. Yep. Jacob loves fresh salsa this time of year when everything's coming in. So, of course, you got to have tortilla chips to go with it. And these are Maggie's favorite. So, the thing is, guys... I let them have this stuff. Once these are gone, though, they're gone until I go back in two weeks. I don't make a special trip as soon as we run out of chips to go get more. Um, but those are Maggie's favorite. Uh, I've been cooking breakfasts, but we are not big breakfast eaters. So, I mean, eggs and bacon and sausage and stuff like that every morning. Like, we don't do that, guys. I usually... Andy likes sweet stuff for breakfast, so he gets muffins or my jam bars. Um, Jacob, he's not a huge breakfast eater. He eats breakfast occasionally. He'll eat a chocolate chip muffin or something. I don't usually eat breakfast. The um, way I feel about it, if you're not hungry when you get up, just don't eat when you're hungry, okay? It's what our ancestors did. But Maggie loves grocery store biscuits. Now, these poor little youngins have to eat homemade biscuits most of the time. But she loves homemade, bi I mean, uh, canned biscuits for breakfast. So I've got her a couple little cans of that, and that'll be her breakfast um, till we run out. She'll eat a couple every every morning. Uh, Jesse Jones hot dogs. If you're not from North Carolina, Virginia, you've probably never heard of these. They're red hot dogs. Best you can buy right there. We love Jesse Jones hot dogs. The red dye in them is not great. I realize that. But like I said, we're not purists. Uh, sliced cheese for grilled cheeses, cheeseburgers, whatever. Velveeta is my favorite. Uh, Chef Boy RD, I do buy a few cans of this. And again, once the kids run out, they're out. Um, they like to eat these for lunch, though. Um, and again, I realize they're not great for you, but they're there. And the kids like them. So I do try to not completely shelter them from everything. And I know some people may frown upon that, but... Uh, they enjoy those spaghetti meatballs for lunch a lot of times. Shredded cheese. I like to buy it by the block and shred it myself, but it is so convenient just to buy shredded cheese, guys. So, most of the time, that's what I do. I'm not going to lie. I buy shredded cheese. Planter's peanuts. Of course, the salted. This is Andy's favorite snack, so I usually buy him a few jugs of that, and Jacob loves them, too. Um, so, that's a great snack to have there. I've got some spaghetti noodles. Been making all the spaghetti sauce. I have a couple of half jars, so that's actually what we're gonna have tonight is uh, spaghetti. I like to make baked spaghetti in the oven with the shredded cheese on top. That's all of our favorites. Uh, next on the list, we got Kraft macaroni and cheese. Again, this is a special treat for the children um, and Andy, Andy loves it too. Uh, so I buy this to cook for supper. Sometimes Jacob eats it for lunch. Um, and again, once it's gone, it's gone until I go back. 
We, of course, have Duke's mayonnaise. Y'all, they ain't no other kind of mayonnaise. Duke's mayonnaise is the way to go. Um, I'm not a huge fan of mayonnaise, except for Duke's mayonnaise, okay? You can't, you can't have a good tomato sandwich without Duke's mayonnaise. Like, I'm for real, okay? So, I put a hurting on some Duke's mayonnaise. And I had to get some more today. <laughs> uh, elbow macaroni with some Velveeta cheese. We also enjoy eating this kind of macaroni and cheese. And, um... We're going to have that sometime this week. Uh, that was one of Andy's requests. I always say before I go, I'll ask the kids and I ask Andy, all right, tell me something special you want me to get. Well, Andy's something special was the, we call it homemade macaroni and cheese, but it's the macaroni noodles and the Velveeta. Next, we have Hershey's Cocoa because on my live the other day, so many people told me to try chocolate gravy. So y'all, we're going to try it sometime this week, okay? So I needed some cocoa and also to make my peanut butter delights, I have to have cocoa too. So we'll be making some of those soon as well. Goldfish for the kiddos. Maggie loves the goldfish. Jacob loves the Cheez-Its. Yeah, so, I eat it for a snack at night time. Yeah, Jacob loves the Cheez-Its. So I do buy those little treats for them. And, you know, the kids do look at them as treats. Next... I've got my Southern Biscuit Self Rise and Flour. So I like to use Self Rise and Flour when I'm making the muffins especially. That's mainly the main thing I use it for. I just like the, for whatever reason, I like the texture of the muffins better using the Self Rise and Flour versus me making my own Self Rise and Flour with the all purpose. Um, so I do use that for the muffins that I make. A big bag of sugar. Because it's canning season, sugar goes in a lot of stuff. I've made a ton of jams and jellies. I've got more peach preserves to make. I will link that video if you hadn't saw it already. Um, and I needed more sugar because I run out. So, did I hit everything? So, y'all, when you look at this grocery haul here, you know, like I said, it's crazy to think that this is $100 worth of food. But it is. And... But something I like to think about is, besides the flour and the sugar, this is stuff we could live without. So if we had to, if I it come up that I couldn't go to the grocery store, y'all, I can live without this stuff. I can make, I can even make noodles. They're just time consuming. So something I really would like to start doing eventually is buying in bulk from like Azure. The closest drop point to me though is a little over an hour away. So that's kind of stop me from ordering from them and, and plus you know buying in bulk it's a lot of expense at one time even though it does last you longer and it's cheaper in the long run um so that's kind of stopped me from doing that as well maybe one day though i'll get brave enough to do me a order with them but yeah most of this stuff right here guys that we could live without when i go to the grocery store it is it's junk food i realize that and like I said, I only spend about $100 every two weeks. Everything else we grow here. Our meats, our vegetables. I mean, I make a lot of the breads. So, you know, that's this is what it looks like being on a pretty much close to a self-sustainable homestead. This is what it looks like when I go to the grocery store. If you're wondering what I got on my pot over here, um, I've got tomatoes coming out my ears. So I'm actually going to make uh, some homemade tomato soup and can it. I've already made some for me, but I think that would be a good Christmas gift in my little Christmas boxes. Y'all hear me talk about that I like to make of little goodies. So everybody's going to also get a jar of soup. So uh, if you've never made homemade tomato soup, the recipe is in the ball book of canning. It is absolutely delicious. And it's, it's pretty simple. If you can make tomato juice, you can make tomato soup. Uh, that's, it's the same process, except the seasonings are a little different. So... Anyways, guys, I know this was short and sweet, but I just wanted to show y'all that, that we are not perfect. We buy junk food. We eat junk food occasionally. So, um, you know, 80-20. We try to eat most of what we grow here, but we like to indulge too. So, anyways, guys, appreciate y'all watching. Please share this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.